Hi, this is Malcolm Groves. This is part three of a series of videos that I'm doing on the Version Insight technologies inside Red Studio XE. Another thing I'd like to show in Version Insight is the support for renames. Um, one of the things that can be quite annoying about IDE integrations of version control systems is that um, they can sometimes lose track of when you've renamed a file and think that you've created a new file uh, and and lost the old one. Um, so you can get into these horrible loops of, of um, renaming a file and then having the version next time you do a checkout getting the old one back in addition to the new one and get into all sorts of loops. Um, so one of the nice things about Version Insight is in, it tracks all of the renames that you do inside the IDE um, and lets you maintain the history for those files even though the name has changed. So I'm back inside my um, little local uh, project, my project in a local repository. Um, and what I did before was when I saved this I took the default names which is not terribly um, good practice I guess. So what I want to do is actually rename uh, unit 14.paz to something more sensible. Um, in this case let me uh, right click and rename. I could also just do in place editing to do this rename. So let me click in here and instead of unit 14.paz I'll call it F main because this is my main form. Uh, better. <sighs> Sorry it's a little dark. Okay so I've renamed that to fmain.paz. What I want to do at this point is um, check that in, that change, check that into the repository. So you could do it a couple of ways. Um, I could right click on this individual file and do a subversion commit um, or as you saw before I can right click subversion commit files in this project. I'll put in a comment and commit that and now when we come down to our history view we should see that we still have all of the um, history uh, for this file even though at various times in the history the, um, the uh, file has been called something different. So if I do a diff between um, revision 4, the latest revision and revision 3, we can see that one of the changes has been that the unit file, uh, the unit name has changed from unit 14 to fmain but we still have that history, we've maintained it, we, the version the version inside has made sure that um, it's tracked those renames and so we get to maintain our history.